There was actually a huge study published in 2024 that looked at this potential link in over 2 million children. It's the largest sibling controlled study of its kind ever performed. And when you carefully control for all of these complex variables, suddenly the link between acetaminophen and autism goes away. So I looked into this. Acetaminophen isn't just a pain reliever. It can also lower a fever. Now, the most common painkiller slash fever reducers are medications called NSAIDs. And ibuprofen is an example we probably have all used at some point. But most of these are not recommended for use during most of pregnancy. So acetaminophen is really the only option. And it's a really important one because we definitely know that if fever during pregnancy can result in worse outcomes for mom and baby in many ways. And there's also really strong evidence that infections and fevers during pregnancy can increase the likelihood of autism in baby. And think about it. Fevers are usually the result of something like an infection of some kind, right? So this is yet another case where we haven't yet teased out if the increased likelihood of autism is because of the fever itself or because of whatever is causing the infection. 